And last but not least, <laughs> your house. My house. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. It's just tough because loyalty is definitely where Hufflepuff and Gryffindor overlap. Hufflepuff was my original thought. It's all Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Gerald, the sea lion's an Hufflepuff. 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 Yeah. yeah. Three, two, what? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Pixar. Hufflepuff. That and a Pixar Slytherin. apparently is just filled with Hufflepuffs. And then Woody the Slytherin. And then what? <laughs> Hufflepuff. Oh yeah? Gryffindor. Oh, explain, explain. I feel like good is a better adjective for Hufflepuff. If I were to say like... It wasn't the brave dinosaur. Arlo the good! <laughs> like sounds like a Hufflepuff. It does sound like a Hufflepuff because they're like, you're, you're, you're a good guy. You're good. You're a good guy, Arlo. <laughs> Pixar, you love your Hufflepuffs, yeah, dude. dude. You love your Hufflepuffs. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> They're good role models. They are good. They, thank you. <laughs> Hufflepuff. I knew it. If there's any shark yes. that would be in Hufflepuff, yes. it'd be Bruce. It's, it's the funniest thing. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Bruce, what are you doing here in Hufflepuff? You're a shark. Fish <laughs> are friends, not food. That's why. <laughs> not a Hufflepuff. I was not gonna say, he, no. I, was, I was like, Hufflepuff food, but he's yeah. so smart yeah. about how he manages to Especially make Especially for a rat. As Hufflepuff. I tried to, to use a reference for Hufflepuff, my house. Didn't quite get there. <laughs> Gryffindor. It's a Hufflepuff. It's a Hufflepuff. They want to And it just looks a little too angry to me to be a Hufflepuff. To be a, oh, there's, there's plenty. Hey, look, I can get angry. <laughs> Nah. Wait, Hufflepuff. Thanks, Slash. Boom. <laughs> Earthy. Earthy. <laughs> They're spiky bags. And it's yellow. And, and it's brown. yellow. Your humble house. This is my house, and I can't do a badger. Hufflepuff. What the heck is this? Some sort of crime fighting yeah. dog. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Ah! <laughs> Ravenclaw was my instinct. Oh, yeah, it was. But Hufflepuff. Were you just feeling like you were just choosing Ravenclaw too much? Oh. Lumiere is the Hufflepuff to ah. Cogsworth is. Ravenclaw. Cogsworth's always with John. She's like, oh, and like Lumiere's just like, come on, enjoy it, romance. And you're like, no, no romance. They just need to kiss. They need to give them <laughs> gifts. Let's solve the problem. Okay. Two, one. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ah, we haven't agreed. Hufflepuff. 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 Ah, Hufflepuff. Oh. Wait, why? Uh, Growing experience for Mushu. While I see like lizards. sacrificing ambition for someone else as a Hufflepuffy thing, I'm two, two one, one Hufflepuff. Ah! Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean, <laughs> Hufflepuff is like apple. Thanks. Apple. It's mmm. <laughs> this looks like delicious apple right here. <laughs> I love you, Hufflepuffs. Hey, I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh, I know. I would probably accept produce <laughs> off the street. <laughs> Gryffindor. I was gonna go with Hufflepuff. Three, two, one. Hufflepuff. Oh! <laughs> he doesn't trust his dog. Yep. He just goes against his daughter. Yeah, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Mm. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. I don't want. I don't want to judge stereotype Hufflepuffs. <laughs> stereotype me. <laughs> but he, Boom. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Why Hufflepuff? <laughs> <laughs> he does not stay put. He's not a Hufflepuff. He's not a Hufflepuff, really. <laughs> Difficult, very difficult. <laughs> I think it's Hufflepuff! Or I myself am a Hufflepuff. Even or Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. There we go! End of Sanderside's video. Until next time, everyone. Oh, yay! Thank God. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Then there's Hufflepuff, the loyal and friendly ones. Oh, and also, that would what? Leave anxiety as Hufflepuff? You, I mean, would I be a Hufflepuff? You are hardworking. Oh, Hufflepuffs are also modest. Less Hufflepuffs are also known to be honest, and you certainly keep things 100. That was nice, Logan. Yup, Prince can be Hufflepuff. Okay, but this sorting has to make some sense. Cedric Dingery was a Hufflepuff, and he was a Triwizard Champion. And Hufflepuffs are said to make the best companions. In a romantic sense, why not? They're also particularly good finders. And you are very good at finding new ways to insult me. No, hey! Not this time around. Relax, I noticed the effort. You're good. <laughs> okay. Traits more. Neville wanted to be in Hufflepuff because he didn't see the Gryffindor traits in himself at all. You could be a Ravenclaw with Hufflepuff tendencies, a Slytherin with Gryffindor tendencies. No, wait, no, not that one. You, I mean, just the fact that my Hufflepuff self is comprised of so many different aspects and passions is amazing. 
Sure, she's loyal like a lot of Hufflepuffs, but Gryffindors can be loyal too. Jon Snow's best friend Sam Tarly is a lovable Hufflepuff. He loves food and Hufflepuff is the official house of foodies. Like Hufflepuffs, he is very, very loyal, but also like Hufflepuffs in the Battle of Hogwarts, while at first it may not seem like he seeks conflict when it comes to him, when it comes to protecting his people and what he believes in, Sam will step up. He is an absolute badger if ever I saw one. Safe. Her son, Tommen Lannister, is a whole different story. He's a sweet Hufflepuff. In the end, faced with the choice of being his mother's puppet, he decided to end things on his own terms. In Hufflepuff, we have Theon, Greyjoy, Gilly, and Podrick. The actual majority of these are either Hufflepuff or Gryffindor, so I just feel like that's where most YouTubers lie. AC Kaelin, okay, I put him as a Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. I'm a Zoella, I put down as a Hufflepuff. I feel like she's like 70% Hufflepuff, 30% Ravenclaw. No, no, I found these quite hard to sort because I felt, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with Hufflepuff because they look very kind and very loyal and just, they're, they're lovely together and they seem like very genuinely nice people and the way they speak. So I came up with putting them in like Hufflepuff and Gryffindor, maybe put one of them. Actually, I'm not going to split them up, actually. I'm going to say Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. Maybe Gryffindor. I'm just going to go for Gryffindor. Next up is Connor Franta. I'm going to go with Hufflepuff. I think you guys all will agree with me on that one. I just I just really do think he's he's all the traits of a Hufflepuff, I believe. Next, majority of people put Casper Lee in Hufflepuff, which I get because he's always smiling. That's one thing. He's always smiling and he's just, he just seems like a kind and caring person and, you know, he just gets on with life. I also think she's a bit of a Hufflepuff as well. She's got patience. She's kind. She's long because she, she's a mother. And then Jonathan, I also put in Hufflepuff. I just feel like he's such a Hufflepuff in his ways. A little bit of slivering in there, maybe. But yeah, I do think Jonathan's a Hufflepuff. He's just, he's so cute, Jonathan, bless him. And Phil is a Hufflepuff. I remember my best friend is a Hufflepuff too. Her name is Jody, and my name is Rosie, I think. P.S. Who's Lily? There's a lot. Who's already had? Sort him. Oh, well, um, I guess hard working to have made it this far into the castle, so Hufflepuff. Both me and Lauren are Hufflepuffs, so we work together and compiled a list of Hufflepuff problems that we experience a lot. Yay, Hufflepuff scored! So this rumor got out that Hufflepuffs are really good at making sandwiches, but now everybody wants one. A really cool shirt. A race Hufflepuff. Maybe I have to search for it. No results. No, why would there be a Hufflepuff option? That would be too stupid. Aren't you a Hufflepuff? <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hufflepuff is pretty boring. Well, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt your hilarious Hufflepuff jokes, but I'm going to be late for our common room party. My name is Regard and I'm a Hufflepuff. What? I think Hufflepuffs are often seen as the underdog and I think we're often underestimated. I think other houses are favorited over Hufflepuff because if you're a Hufflepuff, then you're weak, or you can't do this, or you can't do that. What? Hufflepuffs are often the butt of jokes. I don't think anyone has heard more jokes about any other house at Hufflepuff. Another thing is that we're really not that represented. I think that's often the cause of the negative stereotypes, is because people just don't know enough about Hufflepuff. I think a positive thing about Hufflepuff is that we're so accepting, and you'll definitely not be judged if you're in a friend group of Hufflepuffs. So the fact that we don't like think of ourselves as better helps us work together. So that is definitely a strong trait of a Hufflepuff. The main Hufflepuff's the best house, and I don't think there's any question about that. Us Hufflepuffs value hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. Everyone just seems to take this as if you're not brave, cunning, or intelligent, you basically just get thrown into Hufflepuff because we're the house for the leftovers or something. Seamus, you're a Hufflepuff. Amateur. I'm a Slytherin. Like, it is such a Slytherin thing to do to insult Hufflepuffs for being Hufflepuffs. Like, apologies to anyone who advocates in biology. It really is the Hufflepuff of sciences. But when did Hufflepuff become an adjective? Seamus, are you actually proud to be a Hufflepuff? Of course I'm proud to be a Hufflepuff. It means I value the important things rather than just like being smart or brave or like valuing blood superiority or something. Hufflepuff is very accurate. Basic and boring. Is Newt basic and boring? No. Is Cedric basic and boring? No. Is Tonks basic and boring? No. Am I base- Oh, uh, yeah, I am. It's not the point. Why is everyone a Hufflepuff? You guys are boring as hell. Hufflepuffs aren't boring. There are literally no dark witches or wizards from Hufflepuff. 
But there are fallen witches and wizards from every other house. Peter Pettigrew from Gryffindor, Professor Quirrell from Ravenclaw. Don't even get me started on the Slytherins. But are there any from Hufflepuff? No. Ugh, Dean. Stop being such a Hufflepuff. Whoa, what, what does being such a Hufflepuff mean? Like, a good, nice, friendly person? One of the biggest Hufflepuff haters on the internet runs a Twitter account called at underscore Snape underscore, where they have almost 1.4 million followers and hate on Hufflepuff all the time. When the sorting hat sorts you into Hufflepuff, Florida is so Hufflepuff, hashtag election night. The New England Patriots are playing like Hufflepuffs. I don't know much about American football, but didn't they win? Oh yeah, they did. Th this one's a compliment. Congrats to all the new Slytherins, Ravenclaws, and Gryffindors. To all you new Hufflepuffs, Hufflepuffs? I'm sorry. Being afraid of Friday the 13th is such a Hufflepuff thing to do. Santa is definitely a Hufflepuff. Again, I don't see how this is an insult. When you get sorted into Hufflepuff, so yeah, I get this account as a parody and they're basically depicting what it would be like if Snape had Twitter, I think. I don't know anything about who runs this account, but you don't value patience and loyalty and fair play and hard work. And worst of all, you'll never know love or friendship. And I feel sorry for you. Pottermore confirmed my worst fear today. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm just gonna retract away from all the Hufflepuff hate in this comment and just ask, what would that look like in a boggart? Like, what would the boggart be? Like, the sorting hat saying, Hufflepuff! Like, that would be, that's so weird. Also, let's be real, Hufflepuff is kind of a house for hot people. I know Draco Malfoy, who's played by Tom Felton, is in Slytherin, and Hermione Granger, who's played by Emma Watson, is in Gryffindor. But then, here in Hufflepuff, we have Cedric Diggory, played by Robert Patterson, and Newt Scamander, played by Eddie Redmayne. And Eddie Redmayne himself is a Hufflepuff. For far too long now, Hufflepuffs have been victimized. They call us boring. They call us beige. So tease us all you want, but when you fall in love with a Hufflepuff and marry a Hufflepuff, we'll be the ones laughing. There's actually an article on Pottermore about why you should fall in love with a Hufflepuff that I feel like I should just bring your attention to. I'm such a Hufflepuff, it's insane! Again, what does being such a Hufflepuff mean? Someone tell me! Imagine being that much of a side dish that you roll up through Hogwarts and then the sorting hat puts you in Hufflepuff. I feel like that would show you're a good, kind person. Like, I feel like more people are scared of being put in Slytherin than Hufflepuff, let's be real. So this guy Louis just went on a whole rant about Hufflepuffs. Hufflepuffs are the nicest. I disagree, I think they're pretty dumb and slow. He followed that up by saying, Hufflepuffs are my least favourite, boring, don't like the Colours. And then finally finished off with, if one of my friends is sorted into Hufflepuff, my sincere apologies. And Louis, I feel like it's us who should be giving our sincere apologies to you. Like, to have such terrible values and opinions, I'm sorry, I, things will get better. Like, Slytherins claim they have it bad and that they're always put down in the Harry Potter books and that they get loads of hate, but Hufflepuff were put down well before Slytherin were even mentioned to be, well, Slytherin. Imagine being in Hufflepuff. I think I'd leave, wouldn't you? Page 60 of the Philosopher's Stone, Hufflepuffs have already been put down. You're such a Hufflepuff, boring as heck. If one more person comments that Hufflepuffs are boring this video, I will lose it. I got Hufflepuff. I'm destined to leave a calm and boring life. We aren't boring, okay? I can't date a Hufflepuff, sorry. Slowly the four tables emptied. The Slytherin table was completely deserted, but a number of older Ravenclaws remained seated while their fellows filed out. Even more Hufflepuffs stayed behind, and half of the Gryffindors remained in their seats. Like, yeah, I know more Gryffindors stayed than Hufflepuffs, but Gryffindor is literally the house for the brave. And the difference between the Gryffindors and the Hufflepuffs is the Gryffindors stayed because they wanted to be the glorified ones who saved the day, whereas the Hufflepuffs stayed because that was the right thing to do. But don't take it from me. Take it from JK Rowling herself. The Hufflepuffs stayed for a different reason. They weren't trying to show off. They weren't being reckless. That's the essence of Hufflepuff House. Imagine being proud to be a Hufflepuff. It's kind of like walking up to someone and saying, hello, I'm average. Like, like, just, where does it say that Hufflepuff's an average house? Like, I just must have missed that in the books. I honestly don't understand why Hufflepuffs have got the reputation of being this average house. I've got nothing against Ravenclaws, but let's just compare the Hufflepuffs to the Ravenclaws. Both of them are obviously, like, the outsider houses. Like, there's Gryffindor and Slytherin, which are put up on, like, a pedal stall as, like, good and evil in the books. And then there's Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, which are just, like, down on another level. But then Hufflepuff have a triwizard champion. And to retract back to that quote from the Deathly Hallows, more Hufflepuffs stayed behind for the Battle of Hogwarts than Ravenclaws. Dylan told me today that he thinks I would have been sorted into Hufflepuff, and it may have been the worst thing that anyone ever said to me. You really mustn't have been told many bad things in your life, have you? Like, I'm just imagining you, like, living on a cloud with, like, a pet unicorn or something. Seven books, and the most notable thing a Hufflepuff did was die. Again, back to my whole Ravenclaw argument, what was the notable thing a Ravenclaw did? Like, yeah, Luna had an idea to take Festerals to the Ministry, but other than that, they literally didn't do anything. Again, this comment was before Fantastic Beasts and Wedge Final was announced, but they're making a whole five film franchise about a Hufflepuff now. But let's not forget that in Fantastic Beasts and Wedge Final, he saved the whole of America from a war between wizards and muggles. So yeah, you're welcome America. You know what? Here's another quote from JK Rowling. In many, many ways, Hufflepuff is my favourite house. Hmm, the author of the book said it. 
That's crazy. Anything else to say, JK Rowling? I think we should all want to be Hufflepuffs. Point proven. So don't take it out on us Hufflepuffs, okay? I'm sick and tired of everyone who's hating on Hufflepuff.